The Roman Empire is at the peak of its power and extension. It is the year 117 after Christ. I will uh, try and walk you through some of the history of uh, the Roman Empire, not the Republic, but the, the, only the, the Empire, with uh, a new series of coins that uh, I started to collect. The coins are called Antoninianos and uh, they are silver pieces that were originally minted and introduced by the Emperor Caracalla in 215. It had an initial finesse of 40% as we can see and they weighed about uh, 3 grams 30, 3 grams 50. The coin I will show you today it's an Antoninianus of uh, minted between 251 and 253, therefore with a finesse of about 30%. The Antoninianus soon replaced uh, the denarii or the, the denarius as uh, the coin of choice for commerce. It should have uh, should have had uh, double the silver content of the denarius but in reality never came to that. The shortage of uh, silver and gold in uh, this part of uh, the empire, in this age of the empire, really helped and pushed uh, the inflation, the hyperinflation and the valuation of coins onward, making it very difficult for uh, the emperors and the senate to keep pace with the increasing costs of an empire that was no longer expanding but was defending its borders aggressively. The Emperor Caracalla is here, he is part of the Severan dynasty, introduced the Antoninianos so that will be the core of my new collection. But the coin I'm going to show you today is from here it is Volusianus son of the Emperor Trebunianus Gallus Volusianus was killed and murdered um, among with, uh, along with his father by troops legions that uh, declared their, their allegiance uh, to um, Maximus uh, Aurelius Emilianus, a general that the legions proclaimed imperator at, uh, on the banks of the Danube River. Let's take a look at the coin, shall we? Okay. The Antoninianus have an effigy of the emperor, in this case Volusianus, who was a co-Augustus to the father. And um, they are typically, they are typical for this, okay, radiated crown that they were. The denarii still had the effigy of the emperor, but they had no crown. So you could tell a denarius from uh, an Antoninianus, but the fact that the effigy of the emperor had a crown. Here it reads, Imperator Caesar, Caius Vibius Volusianus Augustus. This is the head of the coin. Now let, we'll take a look at the back. Here it is. Okay. The reverse of the coin shows Roma Eterne, as it reads on the paper. Eternal Rome. Is it not what is today the Britannia? So Roma Eterna sits on a throne, has a shield on. Uh, let me see if I can show you. Has a shield here, holding a spear lance in its uh, left hand, while on the right he's holding victory, a Nike. So this is uh, my first uh, Antoninianus, silver Antoninianus. Our Volunius. Vol met with uh, a shore with, with, with uh, his death basically by the ends of his own uh, Praetorian troops that betrayed him and his father killing him declaring their allegiance to the usurper Emilianus so his uh, reign was very very short 
Thanks again for watching. Take care. And, well, ave atqua vale. See you and farewell.